Hello. We are officially here in Mesquite, Texas for the Mesquite Guitar Show. We're looking forward to a fun weekend. So since we've been doing guitar shows, Amiga Guitar Shows has been putting on the Arlington Guitar Show in Arlington, Texas in the fall, but that has changed a little bit now. The venue has changed, the city has changed. We are now just maybe 15 minutes away over in Mesquite, Texas at a brand new venue. We didn't know what to expect for this year as it's basically a new show. So far, very pleasantly surprised. The venue's huge, lots of great dealers here, lots of great guitars. Can't wait to actually start walking around and, and get into it. We got here yesterday, loaded all of our stuff in, got our booth set up, and we finished filming a video that we put out last week week on kind of what goes into doing these guitar shows as well as a preview of, uh, of this show. After you're done watching this one, make sure to go check that out as well if you want to see a little more on this show and kind of our perspective on getting ready for it. We didn't really get a chance at all though until right now to walk around, so very excited to finally get into it today. It's 2.21, we are just over halfway through our dealer day. Finally got to walk around a bit, saw some cool stuff, but I've been spending most of the day just catching up with everyone, haven't got to a ton of business yet. There's some things on the table, so we'll see what happens, but I did make one purchase. It wasn't for the shop, it was for me. Got this pretty cool MJT Telecaster body, loaded with some 920D custom pickups, and uh, yeah, here you have it. I have a baritone neck that needs a home for myself, so. This is perfect for that. Let's go take a walk around and uh, check out some cool stuff that caught my eye. We're right across from Guitars of Tulsa and there's no surprise they brought a ton of great stuff, but there's been one that I've been just eyeing all weekend, which is just gorgeous. Les Paul. An olive drab from the custom shop. That's as cool as it gets. Yeah, the color and the, they, they've done a olive drab Gibson USA last fall and it, it's very cool. I like the color for that as well, but this is just a little different. I think this is aged and this pushes it over the top for me. So I like, and keeping in the realm of Les Paul is the other coolest Les Paul they have. They, mo they moved it actually. I must ask, where's Kiefer? I mean, there's Jamie. Maybe it's gone. Hello. Hello. Question. Not, not on video. Cut out that last section. The guitar I wanted to show is gone, so they're doing their job. I can show you the stuff I was eyeing. This is what I was looking at earlier. Some gorgeous American vintage reissue Telecasters. All Telecustoms, some great colors. If we play our cards right, maybe we'll go home with them. Maybe not, who knows? We have to wait and see. We also, we took a look at this guitar last show. But there's another, to keep in the Sherwood Green theme, is a really great 62 reissue Strat in Sherwood Green. I saw that, I don't remember if it was this show last year or if it was Dallas, but I was hoping to get it then. It didn't happen, maybe this time it'll happen. We don't know yet. Uh, it depends what it is. 2.30, 64, 2.30. You've been traveling the world, huh? Trying to, we're right over here. Yeah, we've been, we've been fortunate enough to get to see some cool places, so it's been fun. Welcome back. Got the paper from the <laughs> wow. factory. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, geez. Most perfect one I've ever seen. Yeah. It's, uh... That's incredible, man. Wow. I played it on about three gigs, but there's no strap button. Yeah. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. No, yeah, don't want to do that. Wow, this is incredible. No, it's pretty. It's pretty unplayed. It's a one owner deal. Those are repros. I've got the real ones in the case. Cool. And the only thing, yeah. the wire disconnected from a pot and I had my guitar tech carefully. Okay. Yeah, but that's the only thing that's ever been done to it. Amazing, dude. Yeah, this is uh, this is special. It is, it's a fortune. It's more than I, I can, no, I I can I didn't think get into it for, cost. but... But if you, uh, if you ever a... get to New Orleans, uh, yeah. we have a couple of pretty cool vintage yeah. stores. We're here with Kiefer from Guitar House of Tulsa. You've seen him on the Hello. videos before. We're right across from them. They probably have the biggest booth here. What's your favorite right now, from all actually, of this? 
It's kind of tucked back in uh, here, but I have a, it's a 2013 SG, surprisingly. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's quite the SG. 2013 SG Deluxe and this, like, lime burst. I like it because it's like an old hot rod. You know, you got, like, the flame top and then, like, the green sparkle all the way around. That's incredible. That is I, such a pronounced color. the most color. 2013s that I've, like, got my hands on. I believe it. Yeah, it's just a weird SG in a color that I shouldn't like, but I do. I love it. Oh, yeah, we have a, there's a custom shop over here. Caught my <laughs> eye, like... Dude, is it Cardinal Red, technically? Yeah, what are we at Cardinal? But the like yeah, old know. OG custom shop logo on it. That's sick. I don't know, I'm a, again, I'm a Gibson guy. I want to pretend to be a Fender guy, but I, I just go back to Gibsons. I have a crazy take, unless it's a custom. I don't love the binding on the headstock. I agree, I mean, it's, a custom has whatever je ne sais quoi you want it to have. Like, right. the binding, the diamond, the big, yeah. gaudy look to it. Yeah, if I want that, I want the whole thing. I don't care about the Bigsby, but I want three pickups. I want it to be ebony. I want it yeah. all to be gold. Just really sell it. Make it what a Gibson should be. Yeah. Or what a Gibson we should be. We don't need our, our Les Paul custom to be un, like underpronounced. No, it's, it's a custom. It's the top of the line for a reason. That's right. That's right. Gotta let everybody know. Messed it up as soon as you turned it. It's all your fault. What are we learning at this show? Look who it is. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Learning uh, Sacrificial Participant by Better Lovers. Should I just start doing this now? It'll, it'll look stupid if, if you don't do anything. <laughs> You'll never know if I do it or not. That's what makes it better, I think. <laughs> so one of my absolute favorite guitars at the booth is going away, but in its place, we are getting five really, really great guitars. I'm also throwing them a very substantial amount of cash. It's not just this one, but this one helped lighten the blow. But uh, yeah, goodbye to this one, which is a bummer because uh, I like this guitar. Our transaction is complete. Just got five great guitars, three Tellys, two Les Pauls. We don't have time to get into all of them right now. We're gonna do a video like in probably a week or two and go through everything we get at this show. We just got a lot of cool stuff lately. So we'll do a video highlighting everything, but my, my favorite of the five is easily this one. Absolutely gorgeous Sherwood Green Fender American Vintage Telecaster Custom. And uh, you know I love Sherwood Green, and it looks good on a Telecaster. Double bound. Beautiful fretboard, too. This, uh, this checks all the boxes. Lots of cool, uh, it's got all the case candy, paperwork, all that good stuff. Definitely had to, uh, to push up above what I wanted to get into this stuff for to make it happen, but when it's things like this, I think it's worth it. Our day is wrapping up. This has been a very fun and successful day. Great to see everyone again and uh, even get a few cool guitars along the way. Tomorrow is going to be the first public day. Excited to see what walks in the door. Hopefully we will sell or trade some of our guitars as well. Should be lots of fun. As we've mentioned a few times, it's the first time in this venue, so very curious to see what the turnout looks like as compared to prior years. But if the amount of dealers here is any representation of how tomorrow's gonna be, then I think we'll be in good hands. It's time for us to head to Six Flags and ride some roller coasters. Absolutely incredible. We just wrote it. We've made it to Saturday. It is finally time for the public to join us. They'll be here in just about a half an hour. I gotta get a cup of coffee going, get all these new acquisitions organized as Actually, some things happened after we stopped filming yesterday. Like right when we were wrapping up, ended up doing a deal with Guitar House of Tulsa, which always happens at some point in the weekend, but Drew wanted this cool jumbo we had as well as a Greco, and uh, we, we made a deal, and we ended up with a bunch of cool inventory. For those of you into uh, a little bit more obscure stuff, we have, you'll, you might recognize this logo, but this is a Roland GR505 synth guitar. Needs a little bit of love, but we actually have a 707 that we can pair with this back at the shop, so pretty cool. Excited to try this thing out and have some fun. Needs to be cleaned up, but uh, we'll get it done. 1977 Music Master guitar. 
I feel like I see more Music Master basses, but here we have another Music Master guitar. We even have a sticker from the shop it was originally bought from on the back. So, pretty cool, pretty fun. You love to see it. Saturday is always the big day for these guitar shows, so plan is to hopefully meet a bunch of you guys, check out a bunch of gear. There's usually some cool gear walking in the door and would love to get some trade deals going, get some of our inventory moved out and new stuff moved in. That's always the best. That's why we're here. So looking forward to some of that. And I try to stay there. Like if, if, I, if I end up taking guitar, I'll, I'll like trade my own guitar, something else into the you shop and sell in, it. Yeah, it Graptex saddles, JB Jazz, plush bowls and volumes. It's not modded, but it's actually in really nice shape compared. Headstock no neck break. That's good. I have I have one right now that the neck is like there's so much relief that it's almost on Oh no. Really big bummer because they're such cool bases. Yeah, this yeah. is a great neck. my interest in it. I would, I would love to check out all of them. Show update. We've traded some stuff. We sold a few pedals. I bought a lot of things. Like a lot of things. So that's good. We're going to have a long fresh finds coming up here soon. So be on the lookout for that. A lot of good American Fender stuff coming in. Some Greg Gibson stuff coming in. So I'm happy. Pretty crazy day as far as acquisitions go. I'm really, really happy with how the show's going so far. I'll show you a few cool things we just got in. This is kind of for me. It's kind of for the shop, but it's kind of for me. This is a 70s Super Reverb. It needs some work, but even at its current state, it sounds fantastic. Got this in a pretty cool trade. I say this is kind of for the shop because my plan is to set this up in our studio and uh, use this for some of our demo videos. And it will just live there, as I don't want to move it at all. I'm absolutely not gigging with that, but it'll be a cool amp to have around. Shout out to Ninja Pedals. He hooked it up on this, so we, we appreciate it. I'll show you guys this one because a subset of you always ask. We got a Lefty. A Lefty Orville Les Paul. Standard. Pretty cool. So, you've been asking for them. Here it is. It'll be on the site very soon. And I'll, I'll show you guys another one that we actually already put out. SG Standard from 2016 in the 61 type configuration in a very classy sunburst finish. And I wanted a note here. It looks so cool how the uh, the logo's aged just a little bit there. This is, uh, this is a cool SG. I'll show you guys one more, and this is a guitar that I've been trying to get for a year. A vendor brought this guitar to, the show, to this show last year in Arlington. They brought it again in Dallas. They brought it here. We couldn't make it happen, but turned out a friend of ours had an amp they wanted. There was a, there was a trade worked out, and a guitar ended up our way. I'm running out of table space. Oh, sorry, Eric. But here you have it. A Fender. American Vintage 62 Rishi Stratocaster in Absolutely gorgeous Sherwood Green. You've seen him on the show before. You'll see him on the show again. But this particular one has been eluding me for a year now. And now it's ours, so life will go on. We got it now. There we go. Content. Yay. I won.
I wanted this guitar last time. We didn't end up doing anything. I don't think Shana might have picked it up. So I'm going to pick it up. The very rare SG, an Oxblood. And it's just a cool SG. Otherwise, just a regular standard 61 spec, but very rare color. And this example is in really nice shape too. So maybe we'll think about this. I'm trying to figure out what would be like a fair deal because I want that SG, but he hasn't marked more than I would mark it at. So it's like, you know. What's going on? You know, I have not gone through this booth. They were still setting up when I was coming around, which is understandable. They got a lot of stuff. A lot of lap steels. Adam wants a pedal steel, so I told him I'll find a really great one. I'll let him know. I know we've already shown a lot of stuff like this, but we do have some, some very cool Les Pauls. A lot of Les Pauls this show. That's some good ones. Right now, we are at Diablo Guitars with Parker. We've shown their booths at shows, but we've never actually had to get Parker on, so thank you so much for, yeah. for hanging yeah. out. Thanks for having me. It's been a fun show so far. I'll show you guys a few things that we brought a few things that we picked up at the show. We do a lot more of the kind of heavy metal stuff. So we've got some, some Jacksons that we brought. And a big part of the strategy is that we bring stuff down that attracts other people that are selling the same guitars. So we brought down two Jackson Kellys. And the first thing that we got is somebody that's like, I don't know what this is. And they brought us over a Marty Friedman Jackson. So that was one of the first things we bought. On the other side of our booth is uh, Black Magic Guitars, where he has original bursts and gold tops and stuff like that. Kind of being like the bottom feeder. So I'm, <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's up with this Les Paul that you have over here? And he's like, oh, I'll get this out of here. Like, you know, basically give us a killer deal on it. Yeah, what, what is this one? That, that burst is incredible. Yeah, it's an R9 with a Brazilian rosewood. And uh, yeah, this is the second guitar we got from the show. Already from just those two alone, we were super happy. And then um, from there, we sold a bunch of the vintage stuff that we brought and used that cash to kind of get more like you know, middle range, store stock type stuff. Some other cool things, we got a pair of uh, Gibson Explorers, an 83 Pearl White, and a, I think it's a 2023 Ebony Mother of Pearl Block Inlays. And then aside from that, like more kind of heavy metal stuff, like the Dean, the Kerry King, USA BC Rich. And then uh, we try to get just lots of really loud colors and stuff that gets people's attention, like this lime green three pickup SG and just fun stuff like that. So that's pretty much the vibe uh, for this show. And then hopefully we pick up a few more like high-end vintage pieces to, to bring back to Seattle. So. Amazing. Dude, you always bring the best stuff, man. Thanks no, for hanging out. Yeah, appreciate it. Great to see you as always. Yeah, you too. Good luck with the rest of the show. The day is concluding. We had a very successful day. We got a lot of awesome guitars for you guys that I cannot wait to get back to the shop. We are looking forward to tomorrow. Time to go eat, get some rest, and finish strong. some point I think so. and it went right <laughs> hot coffee hot coffee it's Sunday. The guitar show is concluding today. This has been a great weekend so far, so hopefully that continues today. We've acquired a bunch of awesome guitars. Definitely quality over quantity, though I think we've already got 18 guitars, so I guess we've had quantity too, but uh we're gonna keep it moving. I think since we acquired a ton of stuff yesterday, acquired a lot more stuff than we moved along, it would be good to sell or trade out some guitars today a little more than we did yesterday. As I think I mentioned in the last video, it's, it's kind of to be expected, so that's not like a bummer or anything, but it'd be nice to see a few pieces go for how many are coming in. might be this bridge cover it might not be original yeah so the bridge, bridge looks right yeah. i mean from what i can see just yeah. looking at the, the hand plug pulled up on reverb we just did a deal with shane from totem paul guitars i feel like every time we're in texas we work something out with him he's getting a very cool gibson flying v he's also getting a prs sc santana which if you're on a budget great guitar and we are getting a Gibson SG in Oxblood, as well as a Gibson Les Paul Studio Deluxe. So good stuff for good stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
I've got a bunch of Gibson gig bags. If you'd rather have that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that word means. I told you, I don't know. I'm not good at biology. I have no idea. It's all good. I wasn't good at language arts either. Oh, yeah, Shane, you're getting the phone. We're trying to make an effort to get more people in these videos, trying to talk to dealers or other people that are coming out to these shows that are interesting. And so if you have any suggestions for anyone we should talk to that you'd usually see at a show like this, definitely let us know and we'll try to get them in a video if we cross paths. I mean, real, like, I will give you more in trade, like real numbers. I'm not trying to, oh, I'm trying to say this, but, so. I just don't think the numbers will match up. No, I mean, and I get it. I'm too heavy into it. The Mesquite Guitar Show is now concluding. It's time for us to start getting packed up, start getting back to Florida, and I can't wait to start getting into all these awesome guitars that we were able to bring in this weekend. This has been a really fun weekend. Got to see a lot of cool people, meet some new cool people, get a lot of great new guitars, and what more can you ask for? And now it is on to the next adventure. Or I guess we gotta finish this one, and then it'll be on to the next adventure. Let us know down below in the comments what your favorite guitar or piece of gear was that you saw in the video, whether it was something that we picked up, or something that you just saw as we were walking around. We always love reading you guys' comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, all that good stuff. It all does help out, and we appreciate it. We'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye.